morning students in this video we are trying to demonstrate the practical number 9a what has been asked to us for doing it inside the practical number 9a it is asked to create a web application to demonstrate the use of grid view control template and grid view hyperlink so let us try to work with it already had created one project but then also for your understanding, I will create a new project, a new web application. So I just plan to create a new project. ASP.NET web application, .NET framework, given click on next. And here providing practical 9A. I just put a double A or A1. Simple. Uh, reason is what? Already the practical number 9A is already created. I had given a click on create and a new empty application got created. Now I need to consider about creation of the table. I am using SQL server as a backend because grid view is going to display the data from the table. I had one database in SQL server at BSCI TV. Already have another video in which you will find how to create the tables and how to create databases etc. Please watch that video. So which one is the video? If anybody would like to know about it, no issues, comment it out. I will be updating you the video link. So this is what the BSCIT uh, database has been created. In that, there is one table named as employee. And few records are there. Like Shri is there, Popo is there, Karan is there, Vishal is there. Few records <coughs> are added over here. Now these records, I would like to display it on my web page grid view. The first task is creating and adding the web form. So I'm adding a new web form over here. So a new web form get added. And I need to add up a grid view. How to add up a grid view? Simple. There is a control called a grid view. You would like to retrieve the data from the SQL server. So you can use over here the option called a SQL data source. This can be added first or it can be added along with the grid view. So I'm interested in adding along with the grid view. So I had taken a grid view and dragged it on the form. It asked me that what is your data source? I just said no data is there in the page. So do one thing, create a new data source. And using the SQL server as an SQL data source, given a click on OK. It asked me the connection string. So I need to establish a new connection. My server name, I think, so you know that it is backslash SQL express. Depends uh, your server name jo hoga, wo aapko specify karna padega. Database ka naam hum log specify karenge BSCIT. Table name need not to be specified right now. Uh, just I need to check that whether this table is having a primary key or not. And yes, the employee ID is what a primary key. Because majority of the time if you are interested in completing the insert and delete operation or update operation, then you need to have a primary key inside a table. How do you understand, sir? Oh, yeah, this is the symbol which shows me this is the primary. So now, after setting up the database connection, I go to the next. I am saving this connection string in the web.config. So it can be reused in all the different web applications, web pages of the same web application. Then given a click on next, I am selecting the table as employee, which consists of all the three columns. And I am happy with, uh, I don't want to implement where clause, etc. I'm happy. I don't want to do the insert update also. I'm happy with whatever has been selected. Given a click on next. And now here I'd given a click on finish. And first the test query. So you know that, okay, the query is retrieving all the records. I'd given a click on finish. Everything works fine. Now, what are the templates are present inside this particular grid view? So to understand the template, you can give a click on edit template. So two templates are there. One is a paging template and one is the empty data template. So I am just updating the data and empty data template that no records found. So when your table does not have a record, at that time only the data inside the empty data template will be displayed. If the data is, the table is having a record, then empty data template contents will not be displayed. Only two templates are there with the grid view. Not more than that. Now, what has been expected by uh, the practical is we have to work with the hyperlink field also. Now, what I'm expecting, I'm expecting this employee ID should be added. But this employee's ID is, must be the hyperlink. 
and when I give a click on that particular uh, link, a hyperlink, what should happen? The data, the navigation should be done on the next page and next page should be showing me all the contents of that particular employee, whichever has been selected by me. So, these expectations are. So, if you achieve karna hai, to definitely I need to have another web page also for the same. So, uh, I first add up another web page because I am using hyperlink. That means I am interested in navigating. So, I add up a new web form to go to navigate. So, I am adding just a web form. A web form 2 has been added. Right now, I am not doing anything inside this web form. I am first interested in changing the values of these columns by going to edit columns. So, here I had gone to the edit column, the employee ID. I don't want it should be a regular field. I want it should be a hyperlink field. So, regular field, I am removing it. I don't want it. What I am interested in, I am interested in getting the hyperlink field. And yes, I am getting a hyperlink field over here. So, I am adding the hyperlink field over here. But it should be displayed as the first column. Not as the last column. So, I am selecting this hyperlink field and shifting up. What is the header text? I just, my header text is employee ID. Uh, what is the header text of this? I just say it is better to go for employee name. Uh, what is the header text of this? I am planning to provide it as employee salary. And this hyperlink field should be helping me to navigate towards our web form too. So here I go towards the property is called a navigate URL. And here I'd mention the link has to be done under web form 2. So when I'm going to give a click on employee ID, it should be going to link towards what here web form 2. But something should be displayed under what this employee ID. Ne? So you have a data category over here. And we need to fill up the values in data category. What are the values which you need to fill up inside data category? First one, data text field. Which column value need to be displayed? I just said the column named as employee ID must be displayed. Second, data navigate URL string. So data navigate URL string is nothing but a web page to which we would like to connect. So I am interested in connecting towards our web form. Kaha gaya apna behavior mein tha na wo? Haan, to web form 2 is koi mene kya kar liye? Copy kar liye. Copied and pasted over here. Further, I want to pass the selected employee ID. I would like to pass what the selected employee ID toward the web form to as a query string. Or query strings ka value pass kaisa karte hai? Iske baad mein question mark denge. Phir specify karenge column ka naam. Konsa column ka value pass karna hai aap loong ko? Ya phir query string ka variable ka naam kya hai? I am interested in my query string variable name is also EMP ID. That's good, so I have mentioned it here. EMP ID equal to, I don't know what is the value which is going to come. So, marker concept I have used here and I have specified it here 0. So, what is the marker concept? You can comment it or I will try to explain with another video. But right now, when you are coming up to this practical, I am expecting that marker concept is being clear to you. So fine, so web form 2.aspx question mark employee ID equal to marker may specify kiya mene 0. Data text field specify kiya mene employee ID. And data text formatting mene specify kiya currency formula ra kushni chahiye. Let it be, jo hai value waise hi dikhao, no formatting is expected. Agar colon c likhoon ga to currency format a jaye. And data navigate URL field. And under the data navigate URL field, you require to specify the column which has been used for passing the value. And the column which has been used is EID. So I pass the EID over here. Everything has been set. And I had given a click on OK. So you can see a small change. What has been happening over here. It shows me currently this employee IDs are what? Acting as a hyperlink. And when I am trying to go for running this particular page. You will find the grid view displays me all the records. Their employee IDs. Their employee names. Employee salaries. And values under that employee ID uh, are being displayed but as a hyperlink. And when I'm going to give a click on a hyperlink, what it does, please check it redirected toward the web form too. 
with a query string along with the variable name as emp id and a value of the clicked employee id to abhi yahan pe 78 pass kar raha hai jab main yahan pe 38 mein click kiya to 38 pass kar raha tha right so now this web form 2 consists of already one variable emp id with the value which has been selected by us through the hyperlink right so now what has been expected by us that whatever the value which has been passed by the query string whatever the value which has been passed by the query string should be captured and related values must be displayed either inside a detail view or inside a form view or inside any other bound controls so here it comes i am interested in working with the forms so i just double click on this particular web form 2 and i am interested in using any of the data control which one you should take i think so we should be taking the details view is a good one so i am taking the details view under a details view i am selecting my data source as new data source again i am connecting with the sql server so i am selecting sql data source using the same connection string generated by us using the same table by us please concentrate over here now here i am using a where clause saying where the column called as eid must be equal to the source or from where the value will be coming i know the value is coming from the query string and what is the name of the query string variable emp id so here i am providing the name of the variable is what emp id everything has been set i had given a click on okay now query string is set i had given a click on okay now next test in the query let it be and then i had given a click on finish again i am trying to run my now web form 1 now please focus what is happening the web form 1 is showing me all the employee ids as a hyperlink and once i am giving a click on a particular employee okay so nice that employee records are getting displayed in my web form 2 and the employee id has been passed through the url through the query string right so this is the way by which you are able to go for implementing what has been expected inside the practical where we are understanding control template you know grid view is having only two templates here पेजर टेम्पलेट है ना एमटी डेटा टेम्पलेट सर दिखाओ ना एमटी डेटा टेम्पलेट बाबा रिकॉर्ड डिलीट करोगे तो एमटी डेटा का टेम्पलेट का डेटा आने ही वाला एंड वी हैड आल्सो सीन हाउ वी कैन यूज अ ग्रिड व्यू अ पर्टिकुलर कॉलम एज अ हाइपर लिंक सो क्लास स्टेट यू विद अस फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियोस ऑफ एडब्ल्यू प्रैक्टिकल्स थैंक्स अ लॉट